Welcome to another startup and complete car documentation. What we're looking at today is a 2018 Volkswagen Beetle S convertible. This Beetle is painted in deep black pearl with a black convertible soft top. This one comes in the Titan Black interior color scheme and features VTEX leatherette seating surfaces along with painted exterior matching interior trim throughout. panels do have storage areas, and you got your usual power windows, power door locks, and power mirrors. Really nice exterior matching painted trim. Front seats are manually adjusted in this one. But now that we're behind the wheel, let's go ahead and start the engine. On the key, you have the buttons for lock, trunk release, unlock, and panic. And the unique thing about this one is that even though it's a traditional key ignition, you still have to put your foot on the brake as if it were a push button. The Volkswagen Beetle, commonly referred to as the Bug, is undoubtedly one of the most famous and instantly recognizable cars of all time. The original version of the Beetle was rear-engined and it had a super long production run. It was produced in some form from the late 1930s all the way up until 2003 depending on the market. Now in the late 1990s, VW introduced a modern take on the Beetle, one that rode on the modern front-engine front-wheel drive compact car platform of the Golf but still being unmistakably a Beetle. So this new Beetle was named, well, the New Beetle. Keep in mind, at this point, the old school rear engine Beetles were still being built at the same time in select markets, and it wouldn't be until 03 when they were finally discontinued. But back to the New Beetle. The New Beetle was produced up until about 2010. Then the car was redesigned and we got a second generation New Beetle of sorts for 2012. However, the car was now simply named the Beetle and no longer the New Beetle. The 2012 Beetle generation, which is what this 2018 model represents, is codenamed A5, and utilizes the platform of the Mark VI generation Volkswagen Golf. It was an all-new car on a new platform, but looks-wise I don't think it was too drastic a redesign over the old new Beetle, especially on the exterior. It appeared more like a subtle modernizing than a complete overhaul. Anyways, it was made in two different body styles, those being the convertible like we have here, and the coupe, which was actually a three-door hatchback. The A5 generation Beetle would be produced from model years 2012 through 2019, and after that it was discontinued. So as of right now, the historic VW Bug is not currently being made. For 2018 in particular, there was an update to the engine choices, which I'll include in a caption right now. Trim levels for the US market 2018 model year Beetle included S, Style and Comfort, Coast, SE, and the range topping Dune. It also still came in both the convertible and coupe body styles. You had just one sole engine and transmission combo across the lineup for 2018, at least in the domestic market. That combo being a 174 horse 2 liter turbo inline 4 paired up with a 6 speed automatic. Front wheel drive was also the sole drivetrain. The Dune trim has a more rugged look, but it also gets a slightly altered suspension with extra ground clearance to tackle rougher roads. Competitors for the 2018 Beetle convertible included the Fiat 500C and the Mini convertible. So in the instrument cluster you have three analog gauges, which are your tachometer, spinometer, and fuel gauge. And there is also a digital info display, which is mainly gone through via the controls right here on the steering wheel.
It has a four spoke design, leather wrapped, multifunctional steering wheel. This one doesn't have a cover on it, but there's the rim. More of that nice black gloss trim to match the exterior paint. As for controls, on this side you have your audio controls, and on this side you have your information display controls. The steering wheel is tilt and telescopic. Right here is your turn signal, high beam and cruise control stock, and right here is your wiper stock. There's a storage compartment right here, your panel dimmer, headlight switch, and your air vent. Going down the center of the interior, you have a little shelf up top air vents. Right here is your whole radio head unit, a touchscreen interface, some shortcut buttons, your volume power and tuning knobs, and even have a CD drive. Aux port. Below that you have the controls for your single zone climate control as well as your three stage heated front seats. Your passenger airbag indicator, your hazard switch, some storage with a USB port, and then you got a power outlet. backup camera when you put it in reverse. Two cup holders, the parking brake is hand operated. And then you have a center armrest. You can open it for some storage or fold the whole thing up to reveal a little bit of storage, a couple trays. Upper and lower glove boxes. The lower one is locking. Both sun visors have vanity mirrors, as well as little card holders. As for the overhead console, you have your overhead lighting, as well as the switch to operate your power convertible top. Finally, here's the radio. It's a pretty simple system, pretty small touchscreen. Your radio, you have AM and FM. Anything you might have hooked up. You have Bluetooth, USB, you can pair a phone. All your vehicle settings. And your sound settings, that kind of stuff. Not too much going on with that. And all four of these windows are fully automatic. The rims on the Beetle S are these 16 inch 10 spoke alloys. The 2018 U.S. market Beetles are propelled by VW's TSI 2.0-liter turbocharged inline-four engine. It's a dual-overhead cam 16-valve power plant with variable valve timing and direct injection. It produces 174 horsepower at 5,000 RPM and 184 pound-feet of torque at 1,500 RPM. Sending that power to the front wheels is a six-speed automatic transmission with a manual mode. Running on regular and leaded with a 14.5 gallon fuel tank, EPA estimates for the Beetle are 26 mpg in the city and 33 mpg on the highway. It has a McPherson strut front suspension and a multi-link rear suspension. Stopping the bug are four-wheel disc brakes with vented front ones. Curb weight for the convertible I believe is roughly 3,200 pounds.
so we'll put that top back up. Very simple, you don't have to mess with any latches manually, you just literally just use the switch. Now we'll check out the back seat. So first of all, as for space, it's not that good. For someone who's about six foot one, mainly I can't get the driver's seat all the way back. Headroom though is all right. My head is brushing against the roof, but right here it's very soft. But I mean, with the top down, there's infinite headroom. Legroom is uh, not gonna work out for someone my size. But anyhow, as for amenities, many people can fit here, obviously. And you have the power outlet and rear cup holder. You also got the storage pocket on the back of the front seats. And back door panels even got that. Exterior color, matching trim, really cool. There it is with the top up. Does have a dual exhaust. The trunk of the Beetle convertible offers 7.1 cubic feet of storage space. And as you saw earlier, the fuel cap is on the passenger side. Anyhow, thanks for checking out this tour of this 2018 Volkswagen Beetle. And as always, stay on the lookout for future tours.